Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News break, I'm Katie Crumley. We now know the name of the man who died after being critically injured in the fire Tuesday at a Gainesville apartment complex. Hall County Deputy Coroner John Wayne Abernathy identified the victim as 65-year-old Jimmy Lee Stringer. Firefighters discovered Stringer unconscious inside his unit at Linwood Apartments and transported him to Northeast Georgia Medical Center where he later died. Another fire in our area, the blaze that displaced 19 people living in two Hall County mobile homes. Wednesday appears to have been electrical in nature. Hall County Fire Marshal Scott Cagle says it seems the fire on 4th Street started in an overloaded outlet. Firefighters also worked a blaze that damaged a house in the 1600 block of Rogers Circle that displaced seven people and caused roughly $100,000 worth of damage. A third call involved a small basement fire and gas leak on Old Cornelia Highway and Cagle says its cause appears to be accidental. All three calls came in within less than an hour of one another. And some three dozen federal, state, and local law enforcement officers descended on a residence in rural Habersham County Wednesday afternoon to look for explosive devices. Habersham County Sheriff Joey Terrell says the ATF, GBI, and FBI are all involved in the search on Garrison Road in Cornelia. Authorities say the case remains under investigation and no other details can be released at this time. With this Access News break, I'm Katie Crumley.